In this video, we're going to take a look at how to tie one of the most popular rope mats, the ocean plate mat. I have some hemp rope here, and this is a quarter inch hemp rope. For a 3 pezzi version of this mat, you're going to need about 20 feet of rope. A 4 pezzi version is going to require a bit more rope, you're going to need about 27 feet. Now, before we actually start tying, there are two things that we need to do with our rope to prepare it. The first is to secure the ends and prevent them from fraying. You can simply tape up your cord, or you can do a common whipping which secures your rope in a fairly decorative way. I'm going to show you how to do this technique in the tutorial in the description of this video. The second thing that you need to do in order to prepare your rope is to use some wax on it and simply run your rope over some wax, applying it to your rope and this will remove any small fibers that stick out of your rope. That will make your rope mat look a bit more consistent. Now after we've done that, we can move on to the actual tutorial. Here is my rope again and I have folded it in half. The next step is to take your left end and place it over your right one, creating a loop. Then pick up your left end, feed it through the loop, and then pull it through. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pull on these two bottom parts in order to enlarge them. Like this. Now, twist these two parts towards the left side. Then place your left part over your right part. And this creates a set of parallel ropes that we're now going to split. Take your left end and go over, then under two, and over one. Then pull your rope through. We have another set of parallel ropes to split here. So take your right end and we're going to start with an under, then go over, under. then over and under. Now pull in your rope. Our mat is now tied and the last step is to take one of the ends and place it next to the other end, like this, creating our last bite. Here. As you can see, the mat is over tightened, which can be a problem when you're trying to work in the rest of your rope. So, what we're going to do first is loosen up the mat by basically pulling in some slack. Let's say that this is enough slack so that we can start working in the rest of our rope. Pick up one of the ends and start following the other end, which effectively starts doubling at the knot.
Once you have run out of rope in one end, simply take the other one and start doubling up from that side. Again, you follow the other end until you run out of rope. Once you reach your other end, you have doubled up your knot. You would work in the rest of your rope until you run out of rope and that will double, triple, quadruple your knot. After we have done that, we're going to continue with the final step of making this mat. After you have completed your mat, this is how it should look like. Now the last step that I would recommend is to stitch up your ends in order to prevent your mat from unraveling. For this purpose you're going to need a needle as well as some thread and we're going to start by threading our needle. I'm using some polyester thread here so I'm able to attach it by simply piercing it like this. And then on the other side, we're going to create an overhand knot in order to hold our stitching while we're stitching. Like this. Now, we're going to start here. And we have five passes total. We're going to go under two, under and through two, that is, and exit towards the top. We're then going to turn around and travel through all five of these passes. down towards the other side. Then we're going to turn back up again through all of the passes and pull firmly then go two passes down and with that we have come to the end of this simple stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to simply go through one of the passes, make a little loop and then go through the loop and tighten up and do it again. A loop then through the loop and tighten it up. Finally travel down to the other side of your passes here pull firmly and then simply snip off the end. Like this. And with that you have stitched up the ends and you have a nice functional mat that you can use under your hot dishes. One thing that's very rarely shown in tutorials on this mat is how to enlarge it. So let's do that. We're going to first tie another ocean plate mat.
So as you can see, I have tied my mat and I did not finish the bottom. There is a reason for that and that is that we are now going to enlarge these two bottom parts which is done by working in our ends. So basically pull in your ends a bit and enlarge the bottom part like this and then work in the other end like this and we now have two larger bottom parts which we again twist towards the left side so twist the left one then the right one then place the left one over the right one and we again have the same set of cords to split so we start with an over under two and over And with the other end, we split by going under, over under, and then over, and finally under. And with that we made a longer ocean plate mat. And we would again now continue by following one end with the other, creating the last bite at the bottom. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.